What's going on, Expect the Fitness team? Welcome to my garage. Today, I have a full body workout for you guys. You saw it from the title. We're gonna get it in today. Now, I know I'm not alone. When Sometimes when it comes to working out, we don't always have a plan. We always don't know what to do. So with that being said, you have workouts like this where you can target full body, where you can just get after it, get the pump, get your work in, burn some calories, and get it over with. So on that note, what I have for you guys today is a dumbbell workout targeting your full body. We're gonna hit legs, we're gonna hit some push movements, and we're also gonna hit some pull movements. We have eight of each, eight leg movements, eight push, and eight pull, all right? That will be 24 exercises. We're gonna be doing each exercise for 45 seconds, and our rest period will be anywhere from 15 to maybe even 30, depending on how we feel, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and work out with you, so this will be a real-time follow-along video. I have 50-pound dumbbells, 35, pound dumbbells and 20 pound dumbbells and when I'm picking them up I will let you know what I'm actually using I'm seeing down below in the comment section a lot of you asking what weight am I using well sometimes it really doesn't matter I just want you guys to use whatever the heaviest that you have or even the heaviest that you can pull that you can push I want you guys to do what's best for you all right all right, so if you're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. I wanna knock this out. If we move efficiently, we can get this workout done in less than 30 minutes. First exercise we have are goblet squats. We're gonna go ahead and knock out four exercises on the legs and get it over with. All right, so I don't want you guys to start until I say go. I want you guys to go ahead and pick up your dumbbell. Hold your dumbbell in front of you like this, and let's get to it. 45 seconds. Try to keep that back as straight as you can. If you need to drop the weight and pick up a lighter dumbbell, do so. Or even if you need to pick up something heavier. I'm using the 50 pounds right here. This is the heaviest I have. Show you guys some better form. Again, keep your chest up as best as possible. All right. All right, remember, we're gonna just rest, get our breath back, and then we're gonna attack the next exercise. Make sure you have some, some water. I want you guys to stay hydrated. Hopefully you have you some BCAAs, which I have right here. These are my extend BCAAs. I sip that throughout my workouts. Keeps me going. Electrolytes loaded. All right, next up we have stiff leg deadlifts, so we need two dumbbells. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other 50 pound dumbbell. Remember, do not start until I say so. I want you guys to work out with me. I'm gonna pick our dumbbells up. Let's go. Notice the form, I want you guys to drop those dumbbells, stretch the hamstrings, and squeeze up. You don't have to lock out like this, not that serious. You just wanna squeeze the glutes. Really drive. Here, let me get you from the side. Try not to round the back out too much. Drop that. All right, next we're gonna do some calf raises. So grab whatever dumbbell you need. We're gonna hold two dumbbells, one in each hand. And we're gonna do some standard calf raises. All right. <laughs> once we get our breath, once we can breathe at a nice even pace, we'll jump right back into it. <clears throat> All right, pick your dumbbells up. Let's go. Rock off your, off your toes on the bottom. See that? Try not to fall back, but you wanna release some of that pressure off the toes. 
really stretch that calf. Here. Next up, we have a curtsy lunge. So with a curtsy lunge, we're gonna just step back behind us to the side, off to the side. We're gonna do alternating. So behind us, off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lighter dumbbells and we'll grab my 35s. <laughs> All right, let's get right to it. Pick your dumbbells up, let's go. To the side, and you're still driving with that front leg. Yeah. Down, up through the leg, front leg. Let me see you a different angle. This is how you target your quad with a different variation. All right. All right, that's four exercises for the legs. Now we're gonna move over we're gonna to drop to the floor and we're gonna hit some push movements. First up, we're gonna to to do some floor press. So make sure you get your heart rate back down just a bit. I'm gonna grab my 50s, those are the heaviest I have, and we're gonna do some floor press. All right, everybody drop down. Once you get two dumbbells, be ready to pick those up. Floor press is a good exercise to help you get stronger in your bench press. A lot more focus on that lockout right here. Try to be explosive. At the same time, focus on that contraction at the top. And I'm talking about the contraction in your chest your chesticles. You can have your legs out if you need to to remove all that leg drive. All right, let's get back to our feet. Let's do some shoulder press, all right? Now we're gonna target that front deltoid. All right, we're standing. I'm gonna go ahead and load up on these 50s since I'm filling in. I got some of these BCAs in me, I got some energy. I'm gonna go ahead and load up 50s. We're we'll gonna do standing, shorter press. All right, when you ready, I want you to grab, grab them. All right, let's grab them. Over the head like this. He's at the top. Contraction, those front dead toys. The triceps will be engaged a lot as well. Focus. As you notice, I'm using a little bit of leg drive. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop. Again, remember, you can you can drop and get some lighter dumbbells or even heavier dumbbells whenever you feel necessary. This is your workout. I want you to get the most out of it. All right. 
All right, now we're gonna do some tricep kicks back, kickbacks. Focusing on triceps. We're gonna lock in, bend over, and extend outward. I'm gonna use my 20 pounds right here. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. You guys drop down like this. Hopefully your dumbbells aren't too heavy. I have the 20 pounds right here. The heavier your dumbbells are, the less likely you are to keep some decent form. So you make sure you do not go too heavy. It's not about who's the strongest, who can lift the heaviest. It's about who can do it the right way. Just kicking back. Hope you, hope you guys got a good angle. Just kicking back. We got one more push movement, and then we're gonna move over to our pool. Feeling good, feeling pumped. I don't know about you guys, but this is a great way to increase strength, to build muscle. We're doing these 45 second intervals to really focus on technique, volume, which is that hypertrophy, which is what we need when we're trying to build muscle. The strength is gonna come. If you notice, if you're doing 35 pounds for 45 seconds and you're killing it, it's probably time for you to increase your weight. You might be able to do 50 pounds in 45 seconds. See that? You're just getting stronger and stronger no matter what. All right. So next up, we're just gonna do some push-ups, some standard push-ups, all right? And matter of fact, we're not gonna do standard. We have dumbbells here. Let's go ahead and grab dumbbells. Grab the dumbbells in front of us. We're gonna use those like that. All right, when you're ready, Let's go. Doing your push-ups on your dumbbells allows you to stretch the chest a little bit more at the bottom because you're elevated. Everything's slow and controlled, even your push-ups. It's not a marathon, that's not a race. <laughs> Marathon. All right. Now it's time for us to move on and do some pulling movements. That's going to target our back. That's gonna target our biceps, all right? So first up, we're gonna do some rows, some back rows, bent over, two dumbbell. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 50s. And the 50s are pretty heavy at this point. We should be anywhere from, you know, 10 to even 15 minutes into the workout. So go ahead and grab your 50 pounds when you're ready. Grab, go. Grab, let's go. Squeeze in the back. I'm gonna do somewhat of a drop set on these because pretty heavy. Make sure you guys get some good form. Bend over, driving back with those elbows. Yeah, go ahead and drop to the 35s. I have the 35s right here. Driving back. You don't wanna have the weight too heavy to where you can't get a nice contraction at the top of your movements. So, I'm dropping it allowed me to pause at the top. <clears throat> all right. Next up, we're gonna do some curls. Some alternating curls, all right? Control your breathing. Let's focus on that. If you're out of breath, it's gonna be hard for you to work out, hard for you to actually get a nice breathing rhythm uh, when it comes to you actually moving some weight around because breathing is probably more, one of the most important things if it's not strength. <clears throat> I 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab 35s. I know you guys wanted me to grab those 50s. I'm not crazy. All right, I'm gonna grab these 35s. Go. Alternating. Up, nice and slow. No swinging, no momentum. So you bring your shoulders back. I don't think I said that before. Bring your shoulders back. Oh, it hurts so good. All right. Okay. All right, last for our push. And this is somewhat of a pull. Cause we're gonna be pulling up with some shrugs, but ideally, we're focusing on our back muscles and although it's part of the shoulders as you want to call it your traps and your delts uh, that's your upper back right there so even your rear delts part of your back it's your upper back got to make sure that's defined you got to make sure you build that so doing some traps when we train on our back we're going to grab 50 grab 50s i'm grabbing the heaviest ones i got 50s and we're we'll going to go ahead and pull back i'm going to show you how to do these the correct way when you ready grab your dumbbells all right I want you to pull back. We're not pulling up like this in front of us and then like that. We're pulling back and really squeezing that upper back. You should keep your head forward like this. Not like that, but like this. Still shrugging up, focus on shrugging up, but pulling backwards. heavy all right i'm gonna drop pick up my 35s all right all right that's the legs push and pull <laughs> push leg push pull four exercises each now we're gonna go ahead and run back some legs push and pull we'll do four exercises again and that should be a wrap for this workout, all right? So I hope you guys are still with me. Hey, subscribe right now. If you still got some breath left in you, click that subscribe button. If you're watching on TV or something like that, don't worry about it to the end. But you guys need to subscribe. Lock into the channel so you won't forget or miss any of these workouts that I'm giving you guys. I'm here to help you guys build some strength, build some muscle. And that's it, guys. Just teach you the game. Teach you how to eat a little bit better. Teach you how to train a little bit better. All right, so. I'm gonna do some squats. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the 50s. All right, let's go. Grabbing dumbbells. I'm just gonna sit down. Try not to lean forward, try to sit back. Good form. Hope you guys can see it. Feet just a little bit sh uh, shorter width. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Those hurt so good. Now we're gonna drop down, we'll do some glute bridges. And we're gonna keep the weight. Move these out the way, we're gonna keep the weight. Right here, on our pelvis, kind of sitting on our top, top of our quads. Uh, try not to hurt yourself, but we're gonna do some glute bridges. We're just gonna raise up like that. All right, squeezing through the glutes. Let's go. Squeeze your glutes at the top, right there. Gentlemen, it is okay to do glute bridges 
understand if you don't have good strong glutes you will not have a good squat i promise you that your glutes play play a lot when it comes into your lower body movement so train your glutes Next up, we have some calf races again. This time what we're gonna do, we're gonna have our feet outwards, all right? Toes outward, raising up, all right? I'm grab my dumbbells and you ready? <clears throat> Let's go, feet out. Last leg movement of the workout is gonna be lunges. Single leg lunges. All right. I don't think you can do lunges any other way. Single leg. <laughs> and we're basically just, let me show you how we're gonna do it though. I hope you guys can see it. What I want you to do is try to focus more on when you drive back, I want you to focus on putting all your force into your front quad and try not to use any of your back. Try to use none of your back leg. A lot of people push off with the back. We want to make sure we're pushing off with the front, giving it our all, all right? So for this, I'm going to go ahead and grab my 30, 35s. I'm pretty gassed right now. Grab them and go, all right? Hands down. We'll do five on the first leg, and then we'll do five on the next, and try to keep going like that. Switch. Switch. Let's do two. Switch. Do another two. Let's do one. Another one. All right, guys. Whew, I'm drenched. That wraps up the legs for this workout. Now we're gonna move, go back to our push, which is focused on our chest, shoulders, and triceps. We got four exercises. We're gonna start with lateral raises. Stay hydrated. These garage workouts are a top notch, good sweat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab 20s because I really wanna focus on driving with my elbows, really focus on that contraction at the top with the medial delt. All right, let's go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to raise up with my elbows. This is the way I like to do them. Now that's swinging, the weight isn't too heavy where I have to swing back and forth. I like to have my thumb over the grip as well. All right. 
lateral raises right there. That's for the medial delt. That's gonna help you when it, when it comes to opening up and having those broad shoulders. That side's gonna help. All right, we'll do some decline alternate press. Let's go ahead and lay down. I'm gonna grab my 50s from my chest. By the way, I got some heavier dumbbells on the way. I had to order me some, some heavier ones. 50s is all I got right now. All right, we're we'll gonna decline. So we're gonna raise up. Let me show you. All right, let's go. We're gonna raise up like this, squeezing our glutes. One at a time. Oh, yeah. Hurt so good. Make sure you're still squeezing those glutes up in the air. It's gonna help the glutes. And it's also helping your chest, your lower chest. This decline right here is for your lower chest. Get rid of those man boobs. Tone it up. Uh, uh, one more. Uh, all right. Let's focus on his triceps real quick. We're gonna go ahead and do some overhead extensions using one dumbbell. I'm gonna grab these 50s. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm about ready to go. So, grab our 50s. Ugh. Just go over the head. Drop it right down below, behind you. Squeeze up with them triceps. Try to keep those elbows in as best as your shoulders will allow you. Didn't realize how heavy 50 was right now. Ah. Ah. I need to drop. We'll grab the 35s. Grab 135. Finish it off. Oh. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do some diamond push ups. All right. Diamond push-ups is good for your triceps, all, every head on the tricep, uh, and it's good for your chest. So I love diamond push-ups. Spade push-ups, diamond push-ups, whatever you wanna do. Get your hands like this and drop down. Let's go. If you, if you pull your feet out like this, it makes it a little bit easier. It's more challenging to keep it like this. Keep them together. Or you can drop down to your knees if you need to lighten the load up a bit, but you're still gonna put a lot of emphasis on the triceps. And at the top, you're still gonna squeeze that chest. All of you should probably be on your knees right now if the workout was anything like mine. All right. That's it for our push. Now we got four more exercises for pull, and that will be a wrap, guys. So let's go ahead and do some rear delt flies. I'm gonna grab some 35s right now. Really try to force a lot of blood, go a little heavier. And then uh, we'll probably have to lighten the load up a bit, I'll grab the 20s. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and grab these 35s. Rear delt flies, let's go. Keep your pronated grip like this all the way up. Yeah, kind of lighten it. It's okay to grab heavier dumbbells and then drop them. That's like what we call a drop set. It's good to load up with some heavy weight just to see what you got. Whatever you do, just try not to stop take too many breaks in between or while you're while you're doing your set and your reps you know rest 
after your 45 seconds. All right, now we're gonna do some reverse rows. Not grabbing 50 on these, reverse back rows. So having our hands like this, pulling back still, boom. I'm grabbing some 35s. And I'm ready. Let's go. That's heavy, guys. Uh, I'm grabbing the 20s. I had to do it. Grab the 20s. Cause I really wanna squeeze. I really wanna squeeze my back. Even these are heavy right now. Two more exercises. Oh. Now we're gonna do some renegade rolls. This is gonna hurt. All right, renegade rolls. Move these dumbbells out of the way. I'm gonna do 50. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the 25 pound dumbbells with these. Renegade rolls. Let me show you, demonstrate once it go. Here. You probably saw it on the screen. Let's go. We're gonna up, back down. Up. Try to keep your back straight. You don't want to twist too much. And pull that elbow back. Last movement for pull. We're just gonna do some hammer curls, guys. Alternating hammer curls. Forearms, biceps. Oh, last one. Last exercise. Matter of fact, I'm gonna keep drop setting. I'm gonna start with 50. I'm gonna go my 35s and I'm gonna go my 20s. Pick up my 50s and I'm gonna go. Let's go. I'm trying to use the momentum. Never knew 50s. Felt so good. All right. Time to drop. Grab 35s. Ooh. Come on. More. Come on, keep going. All right, last one. Come on. Uh. Oh man, that is a wrap. Oh, uh. that is a wrap, guys. That was 24 exercises, no repeat, 45 second intervals. The rest, I probably took the rest no more than past 60 seconds. I know that for sure. Maybe even 45 seconds, but it doesn't matter. I just want you to make sure you gather your breath in between your breaks so you can really attack the weights. 
the best way you can, all right? So with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't checked out my one dumbbell videos, I need you to check those out. Check out these home workouts. I have a lot of home workouts right here where I'm pushing you guys, taking you through some follow along videos, all right? Hey, if you're not subscribed, I need you to lock in, subscribe to the S5 to Fitness channel. As you see, I'm out of breath. I want you guys to be too. Burn some calories, build some muscle, get stronger. That's what we're all about right here, all right? I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.